Hi, Sam Villa. I've got a great trick for you, especially if you have calic or erratic growth pattern like Ariel, and you want to get a nice full fringe. It's really cool because it's so simple. Tools of choice now. You're going to work with a styling comb. The styling comb versus a brush. Why? When you work with a brush, Ariel, you can see if I place that on your scalp, look how high the brush is off your scalp. What we need to do is get some tool that's going to work a little bit closer to your scalp. So I'm going to work with a styling comb. Now, what's really important to understand is we're going to be working with heat, so product is not an option, it's a necessity. In this particular case, we're going to work with Redken Iron Shape 11. It's a thermal protector. It protects your hair from heat. So all I'm going to do is just miss your bang area as sometimes you call it. You might hear salon professionals refer to it as a fringe area. Okay. So once we have our product of choice, Iron Shape 11, we're going to come in with our tool. Now I'm going to teach you, the fine teeth of the comb are going to give the hair a lot more compression. That's important. Okay. Next thing, this is the back or the spine of the comb. I want you to just compress this down to your scalp like this. The pattern you're going to work is you're going to blow dry one direction, then you're simply going to come back the opposite direction. By coming back the opposite direction, you're starting to control the growth of the pattern in terms of your hair. Okay, remember what I said, great for calyx. So I'm going to hand you the comb. Watch what I'm going to do after I show you. Okay, we're going to take our blow dryer. Now, you don't need a maximum amount of heat. Just work slowly. It's really important you do that. So I'm going to turn it on low, speed, nice amount of heat. Come in one direction, look how I follow it, and look how I press down on that growth pattern. Now I'm going to come back opposite direction. So we come back opposite direction with the comb. So remember, it's just like making an X pattern. We go one direction follow through and coming back an opposite direction. One direction, opposite direction. Now I'm going to hand the blow dryer to you, Ariel. Okay. Look how she's holding the blow dryer. Why? When you hold the blow dryer like that, that's going to keep your elbow down so that you don't have your elbow lifting up. I suggest when you blow dry a fringe, simply put it into a ponytail so you control it. See how Ariel's working one direction, taking the comb, Opposite direction and falling comb. Perfect aerial. Now we come back. It's okay if you go one, two, one, two. Important thing, work the X pattern. Follow through. Awesome. Perfect. Let's go back one direction one more. Awesome. Beautiful. Great job, my dear. Now watch the end result of what you're going to get out of this when you do that. By doing that, you've controlled the growth pattern. So you, any calic, especially some people say, well, Sam, my hair parts only on one side. I want you to know you can control this area. Remember, place it into a ponytail so that you have a really nice control of the area that you're working with, and you can create a simple, simple, full fringe area. If you have naturally wavy hair, you might want to work with a round brush first, stretches it, then come in with your styling comb and remember to work with the fine teeth of the comb and you can look just like Ariel with a nice full fringe. Hope you enjoy the trick.